Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programmers, managers, and being disposable. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a bit of a story, but basically the question was, Frederick, are programmers disposable? Uh, because I've heard that some people say, state that programmers can be can earn as much as um, much in salary a technical expert can be as well paid as a manager but that seems unfeasible to me what do you think so the short answer is most of the time no you will not earn as much as a manager it depends on the the career paths available at your company let me explain so this person is absolutely right there are some people out there who might be telling you that you know if you're just good enough of a coder you're going to be able to earn as much as someone who has like a manager type of position and of course there are certain programmers in some scenarios that might do that exact thing but that's not the norm the reason why this is not the norm is because of that age-old same t reason that has existed since forever which is the thing that all it basically always comes down to and that is impact what do i mean by that well usually a person's value within a group which is what a company is it's a group of people trying to earn an income every single company is made as a pyramid it's always a pyramid you have people at the like a bulk of people at the, at the bottom management higher management ceo like it it's the same thing pretty much any any group has a hierarchy of some sort or is made as a pyramid at least in business so when you're going to evaluate how important somebody is you're going to try to figure out okay what's the impact of this person leaving the company now traditionally a manager is a person who is responsible for a group of people which means that if you lose that person for the from the perspective of quite a lot of companies that has more impact than that a single worker leaves if you if you lose a single worker you might lose a little bit of productivity until you can replace that person now depending on of course how replaceable an individual is it might go quicker it might go slower it depends on situation right but usually that is a low cost but if you lose a really good manager or somebody who is actually making everybody else more productive or making sure that things are being delivered and everything's running smoothly if you get in a bad manager or someone who doesn't perform as well it's actually gonna it's going to actually affect all the people underneath that's at least the theory that's not always of course true because a group of workers can actually be very self-managing self-reliant and self-managing so it's not always accurate this theory but this is kind of the way it works so for a software developer if you want to be a technical expert or something like that and you want to earn as much as some manager usually it's required of the company to have a plan for you to actually do that some companies do have this and some people do, and some companies don't what it usually it's usually called a career ladder or something like that where you have different paths which is fairly popular these days in IT, where you might have a management path where you, through work and through doing good in, within the company, you progress up the management ladder and you become a, you know, a traditional manager in charge of people and so forth. But then you might have a technical path where you say that, okay, no, I'm not gonna focus on that because I really like my coding. So the company allows you to progress on the technical expert path instead. And then you might be able to earn the same sort of income as someone who is a manager. Now there's a twist to this, and this is just personal experience speaking here, but usually even if you progress on the technical expert path, you are going to be required to to go outside of just coding it's very rare that a, you that you can just earn as much as a manager as a software developer or like be as highly valued as a manager from just being a technical expert uh, to, or to just be able to really to be really good at coding right 
there are situations when this can happen if you are for some reason in some weird situation where the company has neglected good practices and you have become a little bit in un, undispos indisposable or like uh, you're, you're basically critical to the company because you have certain knowledge that nobody else has or you know some part of the system or you know something that nobody else is know some no one else knows right that can happen but usually it's not a company will not pay a person who just sits and focuses on their own code as much as somebody who is actually managing and being respond and is responsible because of that thing I was saying they they don't have as much impact that's that's kind of what it comes down to a single a single programmer will never have as much impact under normal circumstances as a manager but if you are going to go on that technical route, usually the way it goes is that you start out that way and then you become a person who actually has to have more impact than your own work. Usually what this indicate means is that you may not be a manager, but you might have to do education, like hold workshops and educate people. You might have to be someone who in an extraordinary fashion pushes technical technical improvements and things of this and things of this nature which is usually the same thing I mean if you want in especially in a bigger company if you want any technical or architectural decisions to go through you're still ha gonna have to play ball just as any manager the only difference is that you don't have anybody underneath you that you boss around you're just basically trying to push for improvements the technical path can be a really really tough path depending on company because I mean at least when you are officially a manager, you have some authority. And depending on how things are structured, it might be trickier for you to do that on the technical path. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't, I could, the person's question was if a, if, a per, if a programmer is disposable. And I will argue that in any healthy company, nobody is like everybody's disposable basically everybody because otherwise the company has some dependency on a specific person which is very dangerous for the health of the company but this idea that you don't have a value is completely false you may not as a programmer be able to earn as much as a manager if you're just going to focus on your coding but that's something that i've told you before if you want to reach the highest level within it you need to understand that code is just a means for you to solve a problem and at some point you're going to get so good at coding that it becomes hard for you to actually justify a higher salary just by coding because your impact is too low you can't just you you can't just be on your own and think that that's going to make all the difference at some point you you if you want to earn as much as a manager or become some type of tech lead or some architect or something like that you're going to have to be able to expand your sphere of influence to other people you need to be able to have an impact on more people than yourself because IT and software development is a team activity if it was just down to you then maybe but it's not it's so diff so many different people that needs to be aligned on how to do something and in order for you to be able to progress to that level you need to learn those soft skills that you've heard so much about though they are they may not be super critical when you're a beginner, but they become very important when you're a senior and you want to progress. Have a great day.